How are you guys doing? Today is Monday, April 5th, 2021, out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims, and for this episode of The Elite, now that every single Women's March Madness game is over, all 63 games have finished, 63 teams have lost, and only one team is remaining. That team is the 2020-2021 Stanford women's basketball team. This is the first time that Stanford has won the national championship since 1992. First time in every single one of their, every single one of those players' lifetimes that that the University of Stanford has won. So with this profile, of course, I'm going to provide the context necessary just to give you a little bit of background as to how Stanford got here and game by game, starting with their regular season and how they virtually got here. So just for a little bit of background, Stanford would, of course, finish the regular season with the best Pac-12 record. And of course, this was a season that was definitely impacted by COVID. So of course, they had to they had to deal with not having fans for a full season for the very first time. And by the end of the season, they would end up facing off against UCLA, ninth ranked UCLA in the Pac-12 championship when Stanford was the fourth seed. Uh, and in this game, Stanford would end up beating UCLA 75-55. to They outscored UCLA by 13 in the first quarter and 10 in the second. They outscored it by 23 in the first half. And virtually UCLA tried to come back in the second, but it, in the second half, but it wouldn't be enough. Stanford won it by 20. In this particular match, their leading scorer, was, or their, their leading scorer of course, was Keanu Williams. As she finished with 26 points in the 36 minutes that she played, shooting 10 for 18 from the field and 6 for 7 from 3, setting a Pac-12 uh, three-point record. And then, of course, their guard, Lexi Hull, would finish with 24 points of her own. And with this, Stanford Cardinal would advance into the March Madness bracket with the best record in... They had the best record in the Pac-12, so of course they came into this bracket as a number one seed. So entering the seed, they would have to face off against 16 seed Utah Valley. And in this matchup, they would end up beating Utah Valley 87 to 44, virtually doubling their score. In this matchup, they would outscore Utah Valley 29 to 9 in the first quarter and 24 to 11 in the second. Virtually by outscoring them 33 points in the third quarter, took them out of the game. In this matchup, Sanford was, of course, led in scoring by uh, Kiana Williams, who had 20 points in the or as she shot tw seven for 12 from the field and six for 11 from three shooting making six threes in two consecutive games she would help lead stanford into the second game that they would play and of course they would face off against eight seed oklahoma state who made it to the second round after beating nine seed wake forest by 23 points um, of course, once they made it into this round, Stanford would end up beating them very comfortably. They would win versus Oklahoma State seventy three to sixty two. One of the I believe it was one of the closer games of the bracket of the tournament for them. Um, but going but into this game. They would end up outscoring Oklahoma State by 14 in the second quarter. That would actually be the big difference that got them across. They were led in scoring by Hay by or they were led in scoring, of course, by um, Haley Jones. And in this matchup, she would finish with 17 points and five rebounds in the 33 minutes that she played. She shot seven for 13 from the field, two for three from three, and she made her only free throw of the night. And with this, they picked up their 27th win of the season. And after make it, and, and after beating AFC to Oklahoma State, they would make it into the second weekend of the tournament, which of course start with starts with the Sweet 16. Coming into the Sweet 16, they would end up facing off against five seed Missouri State. Um, and of course, five seed Missouri State was able to make it here after beating 13 seed Wright State earlier. So once they made it. Out of it, it, what once they made it here, they would end up phase or in the Sweet 16 matchup for the Alamo region. They would end up beating Missouri State 89 to 62. They won this game pretty comfortably as well. They outscored Missouri State by eight in the first quarter, they outscored them by 15 in the second quarter. Outscored, so that's 23 points in the first half. They outscored them by 11 in the third quarter, and then they got outscored by seven in the fourth quarter in garbage time. So the big difference coming in the first half. And for San for Stanford, their leading scorer will come off the bench this time. Um, this time or 
This time it will be their guard, Haley or Hannah Jump, who finished with 17 points. And she shot five for seven from three and six for nine from the field. Kiana Williams had 16 points of her own. And with this win, Stanford would advance past Missouri State and they would make it to the Elite Eight. And the uh, and they would face off in the Alamo region final against two seed Louisville. And of course, Louisville would make it into this round after Louisville beat sixth ranked Oregon by 18. In this matchup, Stanford would beat Louisville 78 to 63. They would go into the fourth quarter. Louisville will go into the fourth quarter actually leading the game. Um, Stanford would outscore Louisville 30 to 13. They were outscored. Uh, they were coming. They were trailing 50 to 48. Um, but they would win this game 78 to 63. Of course, the leading scorer would be Lexi Hull. She would finish with 21 points on the night with nine rebounds and three steals. She shot six for 14 from the field, eight for nine from the foul line. Um, and with this win, Stanford would be the num- they would be one of the three number one seeds that made it out of the uh, that made it out of their region and made it to the semifinals. In the final four, they would have to face off against South Carolina, and South Car- South Carolina will come in as the number one seed within their own within their own region. In this matchup, this will go all the way down to the very end. South Carolina would have a, a couple of chances to win the game. They had a, a they they had a missed field goal and then a missed put back from their best player, Aaliyah Boston, would eventually result in Stanford car and Stanford surviving and they picked up their 30th win of the season with their final four win they were of course uh led by Haley Jones their guard she finished with 24 points in 29 minutes as she shot 11 for 14 from the field and a perfect two for two from three Lexi Hull their guard finished with 18 points 13 rebounds four assists and two steals on the night as she shot four for 17 from the field in 39 minutes a perfect two for two from three and a perfect eight for eight from the foul line had she missed any of those free throws they probably wouldn't even be in this position so great win from Stanford as they were able to make it past South Carolina to make it to the championship and then leading into last night night's game they would face off against Arizona the three seed that would the only three seed that made it into the final four after Arizona came off of their uh 69 to 59 win versus UConn in this game uh Stanford would end up outscoring Arizona by eight in the first half uh in the second going into halftime they were up by seven in the third quarter Arizona outscored Stanford by three in the third to make it a three-point game uh, Arizona would make it close. Arizona would have a shot at the final possession, but for the second game in a row, Stanford was able to hold it down with a with a great defensive position with with a great last defensive possession. And with this win, Stanford was able to secure their first national championship since 1992. Uh, big, uh, their leading scorer this game, of course, would be Haley Jones, who had 17 points and eight rebounds. A lot of incredible performances all around. And with this win, Stanford Stanford will now go down as the national championships or the national champions for the 2021 season. As, of course, they have won the last women's basketball game until about October or November. Um, but with that said, um, I think... I, I think and following that, Haley Jones was actually named the most outstanding player as well. And with that said, I want to thank everyone for listening to all eight, nine minutes of this piece. I hope all is well. This was an amazing March Madness bracket. Um, once again, congratulations to the 2021 Stanford Cardinal, the women's basketball team. And once the men's national championship is played tomorrow, I will, of course, do a profile for that because, of course, I love doing championship profiles because at the, at, at the, beginning, of the, at the beginning of the tournament, there were 64 competing uh, narratives and, of course, only one can win out. And this time it was Stanford's and tomorrow we'll find out who wins it for the men's. Thanks once again. I hope all is well. Today, once again, today is Monday, April 5th, 2021. I'm James Sims. Uh, thanks once again for listening to my piece. And peace out. I will catch you tomorrow with yet another championship profile. Thanks for being with me for this whole March Madness bracket. And hopefully we can run it back next year. Peace out.